family is very very important so is how you want to do it how you want to give back to your family that is very important but also being smart about it seeing how insurance can actually benefit Let me give you a story that maybe me, your community will will experience. I I don't have a client like that as of now, but I have a friend whose client was this. Um, she was actually a a Filipino, and she was working in Singapore. Okay, so it, I'm not talking about helpers, but I'm talking about retail and businesses and stuff like that. And then she bought uh she don't bought. A policy whereby there's a death benefit. So, mm. correct me if I'm wrong, but I think most of people, uh, from experts who come to Singapore, usually they will send money back to the home because yes, they are breadwinner, right? Now you're the breadwinner because you use uh, Singapore currency, uh, which is stable and is also it gives you more on the other side of the world, right? Yes. So, I think what happened was that she got a life plan, okay, a term plan or whatsoever. And then she said bye to the to the advisor or whatsoever. And then she never see the advisor, but the advisor have her on the Facebook, right? And then one day, I think she, uh, one day what happened was that everybody was writing condolences to your family this on on her Facebook. Mm. The advisor was like, "What is going on? Is this a joke? You know, I'm like, what what's happening?" And she and he tried to call her, but there was nobody picking out the phone. And then she, so he tried to talk to one of them. Say, "May I know what was going on?" He said, uh, "The client's name has actually passed away. He uh, met in an accident in the hometown, and she passed on." Hmm. Wow. Now, this is a question for everyone: Who is going to be the breadwinner of your family now? Is accident? Huh? You are not prepared for this. All right. Number one. Number two. What happened was, because of the plan that she had, she was able to bring home a six-figure amount of Singapore SGD to Philippines. Yes. Is able to support the family for a while. That is how insurance works. Yes. Okay. You know, it's I have not- ghost bum right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's true, and that's why I, I, I love helping a lot of expats because I was in the U.S. for so long. Right? I, I am a homesick, you know. I but I know a lot of, a lot of you actually do come to Singapore. You give up your family. You even give up some of them. Give up their children. I'm there to be here to have that's a better true. life. But ultimately, for them what also. is for the family. So, family is very very important. So. Is how you want to do it, how you want to give back to your family. That is very important. But also being smart about it, seeing how insurance can actually benefit. Mm. How planning can actually benefit. Meaning I'm giving you more money. Which other product is able to give you money out like that? Yes. You, you know, like, yes. You know, like all the story of Phoebe's share, uh, why I, I bring her here also because of this. I'm used to don't believe in insurance. Don't get me wrong. I come from a third world country. I'm self-educate myself and I have two experience that I have learned for me to today. I have to start care about insurance, buy insurance for myself and my daughter because first, when I first come to Singapore, I'm come under the tourist visa. So back then, I'm still traveling back and forth when I'm dating my ex and so on. And one time I have one thing called food poisoning. Mm. So, you know, when you come to travel another country and you don't have insurance and you have a food poisoning in Singapore, it's no joke. <laughs> you know, I land into because I'm fainted on the road. I keep vomiting. I'm diarrhea for like a few hours and I'm fainted on the road. So ambulance, of course, had to bring me to the hospital. And you know how much it costs for just two hours in the hospital? 1500 for just two hours, yeah. That's the first experience. Second time, after I married my ex and we just married like a few months and he have sleep this, you know, sleep this, right? So it cost him loss of license and it cost him 
a lot of uh, like money for go to emergency room and so on. So I still remember back then. I think if I remember correct, twenty or twenty five thousand upfront for the hospital. And back then the insurance, I don't know what happened with the insurance. The insurance not cover immediately, so we have to take out all our credit card plus saving to just save him first. And then of course after that we can claim. But can Correct. you imagine if someone who stay here and not learn on this by themselves, they will pay so heavy for that and bring you to death. You know, bring you to death. And and like I say, when you cut your loved one come to death and life situation. You have no choice that to have to burn yourself, and that's when I learned. And now, when I'm even I'm, I'm a divorcee woman, I buy all insurance that I have to for protect myself because touch touch with tomorrow I'm hospital. Who going to pay for my hospital bill beside of me myself? First mm-hmm. of all, second time, I even buy insurance for my helper because I don't want tomorrow my helper go to hospital. And because of I'm stingy, few hundred dollar. I have to pay twenty thousand or forty thousand because I know how expensive Singapore hospital bill is. So, <laughs> I think important that people to have to. I don't want people experience the pain I go through though to start buy insurance. But I very support my friend who are good heart insurance. I'm I'm saying that because some people really suck out of you <laughs> all the money. You just they just ask you buy everything and they couldn't explain. But I love the people who are authenticity. They sincerely want to help, come from heart, and it's still true. It's still a lot of like advisor, like VP outside, really care for people, really care for people benefit, learn from all this story, and you guys will see that life is. This thing is we cannot deny, we cannot run away. It's a reality, right? So we have to accept that, and now we have a better plan. Another question for you. So, what advice you would give? To young people who want to pursue the job that you're doing right now, what's the advice? Oh my god, the advice come to me. <laughs> well, I actually I'm pretty serious. Well, I'm actually recruiting, but I will tell you this: people who want to do my job, there's a few things um that I I would say to be a good consultant, I use a synonym of power, mm. P O W E R, P for passionate. You need to be passionate of people. I always tell people if uh, when I interview people, I say, "Hey, you know, uh, I know you want to join, but if you are just joining because of the money, you will run and you will run dry very fast and burn out, and I do not want you hmm. because it has to drive with the motivation that is the people. First thing, every time when you see people, you are not there to close a case or to have their money. The first thing you go there is to actually be an advisor. Hmm. I'm here to advise you." Because, but in order to advise, it comes down to I want to know you. In, I'm going down again. In order for me to know you, I must have the heart for you. You understand? Yes. So it has to go down the root of passion. Then mm. number two, or uh, all for observing. So it means when you go through, like when you talk to your friends, or when I talk to me, I'm also watching her body language. You know, like she is it in me? Is it? If she doesn't not, you know, I'm just kidding. But of course, you know, we are having fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> we still need the we have virtual hug. We need the real hug soon as well. I know, See, I, you are, is Singapore already open? You know, next Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 all right. Okay, and W W is my favorite one. Willing to learn. This job will actually test your grit, your perseverance, your patience, your character, mm. and your integrity. Mm. You're dealing with money. In order to really hit your goal, would you want to do under table, or are you going to do the right thing? Yes. Wow. So deep. And this is right there. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is a part where either some people be successful or they are in jail. Yes. Okay. Um. Very very important. Then E is empathetic. So how do you relate yourself with the client? And R is are you reliable? Can they count on you? Can they trust you? Are you going to follow up with them, or you say, "Oh, okay, you get this from me. All right, bye," and I never see you ever again. Mm. And that is what causes sometimes the I would say um, the bad stigma of agents. Like, oh, they buy from me, and then after that, I never see them again. That that's not something that um like for me, I don't I don't do that. I'm looking for people who are wanting to walk life, meaning yeah. like. 
you're going to work with them like you now in the 30s. You're going to work with them in the 40s. You're going to work with them in the 50s. You're going to grow with them. And I'm telling you, when that happens, your clients are friends. So yes. if you're only hanging out with friends, is this really work? Not really. Yeah. You know, I have my own uh, insurance agency, but I think after this show, I need to change back to Phoebe again. For her to look back, my... <laughs> I need to change because uh, after this conversation, she closed me very well. She closed me direct direct in front of my show and my camera. No, I'm serious. I will meet you after the next Tuesday when Perfect. they open up. Let's blend again. You look back my uh, everything again and give me yes. better advice. Yeah, yeah, I need that. <laughs> See, you guys, thing. you need to know one thing about me. Off camera, on camera, I'm the same person. <laughs> and I think well, PB is a similar because when the first time with communication in the Zoom, we were like, oh my God, why did we miss each other? We should know each other. <laughs> you know, when, when you're ready, you will meet the right person. Universe never plan wrong one. You know, that's what my belief as well. Can you believe that we have just have a one hour conversation with you? Oh That's how much we've been into, into the deep the conversation is. Oh one God. last question today because you really you really add so much value for my community and my audience. So no, if I really one, yes. yeah, one